Hey, guess who almost forgot to make a video this week? So, I'm sitting here. It's Friday. It's also a vacation day, which is why I almost forgot to make a video. I am wearing my Homestuck sweatshirt because Hope has the coolest symbol. Also because I'm cold. And I have nothing to talk about. Like, I don't know. It's just sort of a frequent occurrence of me where not that much happens that, like, anybody would understand because my entire life is on Tumblr. I wish I was kidding. Actually, that's a lie. No, I don't. Tumblr is awesome. But, <clears throat> so I'm sitting around. My little sister is in Disneyland right now because they wanted her dance company to go dance in Disneyland, so that was pretty sweet. I'm still waiting to get paid by aforementioned dance company for some work I did for them back in December. So that's not pretty sweet. Um, my Valentine's Day was, you know, my Valentine's Day was pretty good, actually. That is, that is, this is the week that that happened, right? Yes, it's the 17th. Okay. <laughs> I could talk about Valentine's Day and that's like an acceptable thing to do. I, um, I hit on one of my friends all day because that's that's my life. I'm writing, um, and I wrote some fanfics for my three Valentines, which are Maffa Fairy, and then Sierra, and then my John. And I've only gotten Sierra's done because it was the worst thing ever. Like I don't I don't know if any of you know anything about Homestuck, but well that's a lie, I know Polly knows something about Homestuck, so but so one friend, one friend was like, "Hey, how about you write me some Aridim for fairy?" And I'm like, "Okay, that's a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty co decently common ship, you know. I mean, I personally ship it. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, I could totally write that. That'd be really easy." And then my other friend was like, "Hey, write me some Arid and John." And I'm just like, "Hey, I could totally do that too, because that's like my OTP, and I totally ship that." Then the third friend goes, "Write Carcat slash Solik slash Terezi." I'd never written Solix or Carcat in any significant capacity, and I've never written Terezi, ever. So I just sat there like, dear, I love you, but you make my life so hard. But I did it, because I am a good Valentine, although I did it late. <laughs> I did it late, but I did it. And so I still have to write the two easy fix, but at least the hard one's done. Um, other than that, what did I do this week? I turned in an essay on Valentine's Day. I took a whole bunch of tests the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> and, um, right now I'm looking at prom dresses because prom dresses are just kind of fun to look at. Also, um, my school... On our, on our, on like the Facebooks, that place that I never go, they made a group that is literally like specifically for like don't wear, don't have two people wear the same dresses to senior ball. And I'm sitting here like, guys, guys, what are your priorities? Like, why is this important to you? But whatever. I'm in the group, so I get to go laugh at everybody else's poor choices in fashion. Someone's trying to call me on Skype. Okay, good. There it goes. I... But yeah, I don't know. And I've been sort of looking at mine. A whole lot of mermaid dresses, a um, whole lot of, like, pastels and kind of more subdued colors just because everybody else is wearing, like, those Empire Waist, like, maxi dresses. Everybody else is wearing maxi dresses in, like, bright colors. And I'm just like, okay, well, it's be nonconformist. <laughs> <laughs> a mermaid dress and pastel colors. And um and one thing I've sort of noticed is that because so many of the so many prom dresses right now are jewel tone, that all the pastel dresses feel like they like need to make up for something and always like cover themselves in sparkly shit. And I'm just like, guys, no. It's stop. I did manage to find one though. So that's okay. good. It was like four hundred dollars, but it's basically like a hey, this is my ideal dress. Let's print out this picture and go find something similar. And, um, and that's really all I have to say. I still managed to take up five minutes by randomly talking about nothing. Um, yeah. All right.
Bye, guys.